Hey guys, so quick update on the engine for the Porsche Cayman, um, the one that we've uh, started build uh, before I came here to Georgia. So right before I came here, I shipped it off to Race Engine Development in um, California there, and it's just been sitting there waiting be, for him to get other um, engines uh, machined um, that were ahead of ours. So this week he finally started working on it. Um, there was a little hold up because um, he didn't have, uh, and he still doesn't have some of the parts. So um, I kind of lost the first set of pistons that we bought for it. Um, so I'm pretty sure they're still at home somewhere, but um, it's hard to say exactly for sure what, what happened to them. But anyway, so we bought another set of pistons from Speed Factory um, and we're still waiting for um, Aries or Aries, Aries, I guess that's the name of the company that makes the pistons. Um, it's a Speed Factory spec uh, piston that Aris um, makes and uh, so they had the pistons in stock but they did not have the um, wrist pins or the pistons so we're still waiting for those. Uh, they keep telling us that yeah we're going to ship them out, we're going to ship them out but it, they still haven't done it yet. So. So he's waiting on those so that he can hone it. He's also waiting for um, the proper size head gasket. Um, I don't remember exactly where I put it, but um, here it is. Okay, so this, uh, we had to or custom order this from Cometic, and it was, I just didn't know what size to order, so I just ordered one. Um, which is my bad, and I ordered the um, 32 thousandths of an inch thick head gasket. Uh, this is copper, um, and um, he's saying he wants a uh, 60 thousandths thick head gasket, which is about twice as thick as this. So I did that yesterday, and so we're waiting for that to come in from Cometic Com as well so that he can torque it down. But as you can see from this picture, um, he did install the, uh, the cylinder sleeves into the block. Um, he sent me this picture um, a couple days ago and uh, it shows the, the uh, Darton um, MID sleeves are installed and he put the receiver groove in the top of them <coughs> where the um, uh, the stainless steel wire that's going to be installed in the cylinder head um, will push down onto the copper head gasket um, and push the head gasket into these into these grooves onto the um, that are that you see on the top lip of the uh, the piston or the cylinders. So so that is done. He also step decked the. Um, the block and and cylinders so the cylinder sleeves what that means is the cylinder sleeves are actually um, above the or at slightly higher by a couple thousandths of an inch or so um, higher than the outside of the uh, the block um, the aluminum uh, outside so that allows the clamping force to be focused on the um, sealing surface of the the cylinders and uh, that'll keep the uh, combustion gases in the cylinder so they don't leak out. The problem with these copper head gaskets is that um, they are not uh, embossed or they're not there's no uh, surface variation on it to to create a sealing um, I don't know pattern or whatever um, to push into the surfaces. So these are just flat, flat um, gaskets, um, which is really good and ideal for the uh, combustion chamber right around here. But um, as far as the the, the water um, flow, it doesn't seal it, so it 
the uh, the coolant often uh, actually leaks out the side. So that is going to be an issue that we need to address. And I'm not exactly sure how we're going to fix this problem, but um, what we might end up doing is uh, running a multi-layer steel a head gasket um, when we're just using it on the street and then swap it this into there um, when we are racing it so we might possibly I might try to modify the uh, cylinder heads and the block to um, have a groove in here and um, and then have them uh, create a, uh, a gasket for us and put the like an all-ring neoprene gasket um, or silicone um, in that groove on the outer edge so I'm not real sure exactly how I'm gonna address that but I would really like to have to be able to run this copper gasket without coolant spewing out the side of the engine so uh, just one more thing I gotta figure out and most people have maybe nobody I don't know has done this but I thought I heard once an Australian team did do a o-ring system so that might be what I will end up doing so um, anyway that's it for now I just wanted to update you guys on where I'm at I'm gonna go finish up the pool area get that cleaned up we're gonna have a friend over a car friend of Noah's over tomorrow and do some barbecuing hopefully and uh, uh, he might be interested in hiring me to build something for him. So, anyway, take care. God bless. Bye.